What is going on everybody? It is Will with Very Great Software and in today's video we are going to be making a Hello World Chrome extension um, but with Manifest version 3. Now for those that don't know what Manifest version 3 is, it's just a newer version of how you would go about making a Chrome extension. Um, if anyone's made a Chrome extension in the past, most likely you used Manifest version 2. If you want to dive deep into how Manifest version 3 um, works and why you should switch to it, um, basically what I got out from it is just it's more secure both for the user and for the developer. Um, and just any privacy concerns and also a very great boost in performance with how they went and switched their background uh, scripts to service workers instead of just a constant thread always running uh, but if you want to read more into that go ahead um, pause the video on this screen now for those that are new to the channel please go ahead and subscribe like do all the things to help the algorithm if you find anything bad you know just let me know leave a comment leave a dislike if you really want to um, and for those that uh, have been with me for a while I, I apologize so much I know you guys have been wanting more videos and I'm about to give them to you because uh, uh, well, I'll probably go through in another video. Uh, I won't do it to like blabber on on this video. But anyways, uh, let's get into making a Hello World Chrome extension. And for those that are like, wait, Will, you already have a series on this. Yeah, I know. But what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be revamping uh, my Chrome extension series. I'm just going to keep the old videos up, but I'm going to purposely label uh, these videos like the new, the newer Chrome extension uh, versioned series so we're still gonna be doing the same thing we're gonna be setting up a Chrome extension where people you know can pay um, you can receive payments through your Chrome extension as people use it so on and so forth and without further ado let's get into this so what I want you guys to do first is just go ahead and make an empty folder once you do have that when once you do have that done go ahead and en enter into your uh, preferred visual uh, editor not visual editor just editor I guess and uh, we'll go ahead and create a new file called manifest.json and in this um, it's just gonna be a JSON body and uh, we will say manifest version so obviously we are doing three so we shall put three here okay and this is gonna be a hello world a Chrome extension so um, we are going to be making a content script I believe I think this needs to be content scripts um, and then this needs to be an array and then curly braces and what we want to say is when the URL of a certain tab matches this one um, which we're just gonna do um, we're just going to do google.com forward slash star. Okay. And we're going to say whenever we have a match for that particular URL, um, we are going to inject um, some CSS maybe later, probably not in this video, and then also some JavaScript. So JavaScript is content.js. We'll go ahead and save that. Um, oh, we should also probably add a name for our Chrome extension. So let's just name it um, um, example mv3 extension. Okay. And then also let's give it a version. Uh, you can give this version whatever, name and version whatever you want. Um, typically for any software that's not really production ready for multiple users to be using, um, you typically don't want to start with a one, you want to start with a zero. Um, so this should be good. Um, let's also go ahead and add our content.js script. And here we're just going to do an alert and then say hello world. And this should be it. I might have to add some adjustments to our manifest um, to our manifest file. But we're going to go into our browser here. And this can be Chrome. This can be Brave. This can be Firefox. Um, they should all be translating to the same browser. 
but there should be a little puzzle piece up here or something similar. Um, and then basically you're just where all your extensions go. So we're going to click on manage extensions. And um, as far as I remember, these this is in the both same location for uh, for Chrome as well as Brave. Um, I'm using Brave. And uh, so you just click on developer mode, enable a developer mode. And then we're going to click load impact. And then we should be able to just select the folder. Oh, I did forget something. Matches needs to be an array, not a string. So let's go ahead and put square brackets around that. I think also JavaScript also needs to be an array. So let's retry that. Okay, it looks like it loaded in. You can see there our name, and you can also change this whenever you want, even when you publish your extension to the store. And then there's your version, as well as the ID of your Chrome extension. Now, since our content script is supposed to match anything google.com related, let's go to google.com. And nothing happened. Maybe we need a star dot. Ah, there we go. It's because it was hiding the www. So if you guys did not catch that, here I will I will zoom in a little bit more. And uh, you shall see here, um, right here, I added this star dot. So what the star does is it matches literally any character. So this could be HTTP, this could be HTTPS, colon, forward slash, forward slash, and then whatever subdomain, so like www.google.com or uh, api.google.com. And then again, forward slash any leading um, uh, thing. So like if we were to type in, if we were just type in like funny gif, uh, you should see here that uh, we still get the alert. Um, because that star matches this entire string as well. Um, but if we only wanted to apply it to search, we could probably just type in search here and then go ahead and refresh our extension and then refresh the page. And you'll see we get the alert. But if we go to the home page of google.com, um, you can see the alert does not come up only when we go and search for something does it actually alert us on that but yeah that is actually uh, that was pretty quick um, that is basically the gist of a hello world Chrome extension in version 3 um, as we dive deeper and deeper and making this thing into something really cool uh, I don't really know what we're gonna make yet but if you guys have any suggestions please go ahead and leave them in the comments below uh, in the next video, I'll probably go get ahead and get started with having a background script and having that talk to the content script and they can start sending messages to and uh, back back and forth to each other. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions on what we should make um, for any particular, like I can, I can almost guarantee you guys I'm going to make anything you guys would want me to make for a Chrome extension. Um, but that is it. Again, if you guys could, please like and subscribe to this video. I will be putting out more uh, Manifest version 3 Chrome extension videos in a series as well as I actually have a Raspberry Pi Cooper or I have a Raspberry Pi cluster right behind me here and I'm going to be putting Kubernetes on it and we are going to be deploying some software uh, to our little Kubernetes cluster and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make an be making another video series on that so stay tuned i got a whole bunch of content for you guys coming up here down the pipeline so hope you guys liked this video anyways i'll catch you guys in the next video in our series bye